I think these fish are pressured. God, why? That one ain't eating nothing. Done. Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, we're out here doing a little urban pond fishing out here in the middle of Jacksonville. Uh, I've come to this pond a couple times, catching shad, and so I figured I'd fish it. I actually caught some bass in the cast net by accident. So we figured I'd give it a try and see how big the bass are really in here. And uh, these ponds have been here for a long time. They used to be old golf course ponds until they built this subdivision around it. But I'm gonna do some laps around it out here early in the morning before the sun gets up. It's about six o'clock right now. Probably fish till about nine. Everybody usually starts waking up about then and starts getting busy. So hopefully we'll be off the water by then. Uh, plan is go around. There's a lot of shad, a lot of shiners in here. So that's what the main forage is. So I'm gonna go around with a whopper plopper first thing in the morning. Then we'll go back with a lipless crankbait and then maybe a chatterbait, not sure. But the only thing to do is get out there and wet a line and see what's out there. I have no idea how good the GoPro is picking up in this light, but the game plan I'm going to do is just basically just do a lap around this entire pond. That's a good sign. It's basically do a lap around this entire pond and each time I come back by, I'm gonna try a different bait. But uh, as I was saying, we're gonna start off with the whopper plopper. And we got activity all in front of me, so enough talking, we'll start fishing. Whopper plopper ain't looking too good so far. Yeah, first thing in the morning, something might kill this. Alright, so we're trying a new spot. That pond didn't pan out. Over here on the west side now. Some of you might know where these, this place is. That's a pretty big hint. Somebody's cast net, they just left here, nice. There's a bunch of tilapia here, and yeah, this place has gotten ultra clear. I haven't been here in years, and there's a bunch of vegetation now on the bottom. So now I'm kinda glad I grabbed the chatterbait out of the truck. Fish. So, we'll see what we can make happen over here in this pond nothing it's a nice fish pound and a half two pounds I think these fish are pressured god why that one ain't eating nothing done Dude, can't catch diddly squat. Hey guys, I am not giving up on this video until I catch a bass. We are going to make this happen. I know for a fact I can catch bass in this pond. Well, you can call it cheating whatever you want. It's my pond. <laughs> I know there's bass in here and I'm going to go around it throwing uh, the jackhammer, one of my go-to confidence baits. I have caught them on this in here before. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get some bass on this video. I am hell bound to get this video out. So here we go. Oh, there was a bite right there and I missed him. Dang it. Story of my life here lately. Something's got spooked by that pallet. That means there's a bass there. We're about to really find out if there is or not. Oh, there he is. I knew there'd be one, finally. What's a nice one? Told you there's something there. He's got to watch your surroundings. Don't jump. Don't jump. I said don't jump. This is a nice one for the pond too. If I can just land him and make it official. Oh yes. It's official. <laughs> we got a bass. As you can see, they're growing really good in the pond this year. And there's 
It's so pretty, man. Lots of color. God, he got that thing right in the hard part of the mouth. Pop him out. God, they're so pretty in here. I'm so glad they're growing real healthy this year. He's probably pound and a half, pound and three quarters. We'll let him go back to doing his thing. There he goes, under the tire. And out the tire. He does tricks. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get one of our uh, brothers or sisters. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. I'm sorry this video is kind of short. And, you know, the poor old pond bass sometimes take all the abuse when I can't catch a bass anywhere else. But at least you got a little sneak peek of uh, how the bass are doing. And you can see they're growing nice and healthy this year. And I should have a growth video coming out pretty soon on them. Uh, you need to do some research, how they're, you know, take some measurements of them and see how much bigger they've grown than last year. Uh, I got a feeling they're doing a lot better. And uh, also I should have some do-it-yourself stuff coming out, some tips and tricks. And I really want to get the kayak back in salt water and go do some salt water fishing. So be looking out for that. As always, I'm Joe. Thank you for watching Dinsmore Outdoors. If you just came across the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell. That way you can get up to date on new videos. And remember, we do more in Dinsmore. We'll see you out there next time. Dinsmore Outdoors is proudly sponsored by Bruiser Baits. Fish the best. Vexen Rods. Strike first with Vexen. And real gear. Make fishing your style.